Female equality all over the world has come a long way in the last 50 years. But despite this, women today still face many challenges in both the workplace and at home. Successful British women, role models for their gender, led the debate at London's Dorchester Hotel on the issues surrounding women's economic empowerment. What to get people of influence and uh, people who could make a difference come together to discuss issues that basically affect women deeply. But I wanted men involved in the conversation because we really, really can't do much without them. And the objective is to begin a conversation which I hope will become louder and will engage more and more people. You know, issues like climate change, leadership style, as we saw, entrepreneurship. Uh, and it was really to get women together and make a difference. The keynote speaker is the president and CEO of PepsiCo and told delegates of the need for more female leaders. Women make up only around 10% of senior executive positions in the Fortune Global 100 companies and progress itself creates new challenges. This very progress harbors problems of its own. This was the story we were told. You can hold down a senior position and at the same time be a great mother and an even greater wife. Let's be honest. The biological clock and the career clock are ticking at the same time. The desire to start and raise a family occurs for many women at exactly the moment in their lives that their careers are starting to take shape. We need to make this choice less stark. It needs to be less binary and more of a balance. The conflict is real, but we can manage it better. <clears throat> When I say we, I mean three separate communities. I mean women themselves, I mean good companies, and I mean governments through public policy. I think According to green campaigners, women in the developing world are most affected by global warming. It are greatly underrepresented in climate change decision making. The UK's Green Party called for more women to take an active role in tackling this global problem. It's a problem in, uh, in many, many areas, in business, in politics, and in the, particularly in the industries that will have the most effect on climate change, such as the energy industries and uh, the new renewable energy industry. Um, I'm from an engineering background, and that's what I'm going to talk about today, is that more women need to go into those kinds of careers um, so we can have an influence. It's been shown that women are um, in government. They make more environmentally friendly decisions. They're more likely to sign up to the climate treaties if they are in charge of the countries than if men are. So it's very, very important that we take charge and sort this thing out. The UK government has played its part in helping women achieve equality and empowerment. Well, over the last 10 years, we've brought forward very substantial changes to maternity, paternity, uh, parental leave uh, entitlement. Uh, we've huge, vastly increased the volume and the quality of childcare, uh, flexible working, uh, really putting in place the legislation to make it easier for parents, men and women, to get a better balance between the responsibilities of bringing up their children and the responsibilities at work. Organisers believe events like this provide a platform for strong role models to inspire more women to find their voice and challenge the barriers they face on the path to economic, educational and political empowerment.